this is as far as I can get. The box is just a big cube uh, to display the figure. And it's nice. I like it. It's just too big. Um, I can't even really show off the full box. It's just that big. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, forgot to do my intro. <laughs> uh, help me. I'm Ronimus2099, a.k.a. Guy who doesn't have a big enough review space for this figure. Um, I'm gonna first off start by saying that, uh, this is a good figure even though I do bash it. And I really don't like how big the box is. It's my main problem because it's just way too big, but he does come with a bunch of stuff. More for, just, it's mainly the lightning, but... He doesn't come with all that much, but he does come with enough to make him good. So, oh yeah, by the way, I don't think that this is bootleg, because it does have the Marvel licensing logo on it. Alright, I don't think, I think that's a sign of it's not a bootleg. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, let's focus, because my stupid camera won't. Uh, sorry if I seem a little out of whack. Just been tired today. And I was playing Pit with my friends, which, if you don't know what that is, it's a fun game. Uh, anyway, here is Thor. He is an SH video art, so he is in sort of his own scale. Forgot to bring up a Marvel legend. Here is the SH video art's Iron Spider, which has quickly become my favorite figure of my entire collection. Uh, by the way, I'm going to do a whole bunch of videos on my top 10 toys for 2018, uh, because there were some good ones, and I started to collect Marvel legends, so I do want to show, like, oh, jeez. <laughs> that wood panel right next to me just broke from my elbow. <laughs> anyway, this is a perfectly good figure. He is taller than Spider-Man, so that's nice. Um, well, hold on one second. I have to get him to his right height. I kind of had him slouching over. He's good, I think. I think this is perfect. Um, in terms of size, this is perfect. Oh. <laughs> he does kind of fall over a lot. I think that's mainly because the cape weighs him down a little bit. And because of his feet. But I don't really have that many problems with the figure. Uh, the design is accurate. The only thing that I really have a problem with is these, these clips that are on the side of his helmet. Um, they popped off a whole bunch of times when I was shooting the stop motion for him. Um, I do like that this is on a ball joint. His shoulder piece is on a ball joint so you can get it out. You can kind of get it more flush. You can rotate it back and forth and get it nice. I wish that he had a double elbow like Spider-Man. Like Spider-Man can get all the way up to here. Thor can only get up to here. Which is really just disappointing when you're kind of comparing figures. But if you do want a just good Thor figure, he's pretty nice. Um, I would actually say that you could sort of fudge him in with your Marvel Legends. Um, I'd say if you had him on a NECA stand, flying above the rest of them, with like a whole bunch of lightning coming out of him, he would look fantastic. Uh, he does have all the words, or the all the symbols, and he does have his blue shin. Um, he does have his cape, which I do like, and the helmet, which of course has a function from the trailer, which I didn't really think was all that cool, but he brings it down and is like, boom, boom. I actually would have preferred if he was like the Mayfax one and came with the shield and the stick because he used that and that would be perfect for like him kind of using new weapons and I would like to have him with a shield. But in terms of accessories, you can plug off his swords, which in the movie they do, they are this small on his back and then they extend and do all that stuff. But then you can have in one without the swords in. It's just because, of course, the sword's size shift. Like, here's what they are stored. Here's what they are full size. Yeah, pretty big. So anyway, optional hands. He came with fists. Open fists to hold the swords. And he came with these splayed open hands, which I like the most because I always picture Thor as sort of like a always relaxed guy. Anyway... So we're going to switch his hands to swords. By the way, I'm getting a new review space. So 2019 will 
have a crisper view space and look better. Those are the wrong fists. <laughs> um, I'm not too worried like I was with the bootleg that I got of, of Star-Lord. Um, when I would switch out his hands, I was worried that I was going to break them. Um, and I did uh, use this figure before. Uh, almost done with the stop motion. Osteoporosis. Uh, almost done with the stop motion. Uh, that that was taking a long time. And, uh... Almost got done. Just, just update. These are very tight. I'm not always a good reviewer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but when I review... When I want to review something, I will review it. Ah, got them in. Anyway, those are his swords. And they're very nice. They're... They are sharp. Um, I poked myself like a good 20 times when messing around with his figure and just getting the feel of him. Because that's always good to do. Like, you should always, like, kind of check your action figures. Especially SH Figure Arts and Mafex ones. Check them for paint damage or something. Or even, like, shipping damage. Because you don't want to have a whole on broken one. Or you don't want to realize it until you get out of the packaging and shot a review of it. And then just break it in your hands. Ah, Star Lord, why won't you? Why won't you? Why would you do that? It's because you were made in China, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, swords are very nice. They are like something I would like Thor to use in movies, but don't think we're gonna have that because the Stormbreaker now. Which um, I said this in the Thor animation. Give it back to Beta Ray Bill. Nah, I would actually like to see Beta Ray Bill in the MCU. I'd like to see how they did him. Anyway, let's talk about his lightning effect. Which is the big thing that I was going to buy this set for. I was going to gonna skip on this figure, but I was like, that lightning looks very nice. So we're just going to scooch him back. And we will do a quick run of articulation in a little bit. But there it is, the lightning effect, which isn't all that good. It's just sort of good for being a little... Sort of like a... Just like a little lightning burst. It's more of a lightning bolt being hit than lightning effects. Um, I have tried to do some poses where it looks like he's like jumping and it's like lightning is coming from his arms and something. And then like when he hits down on the ground, this lightning bolt just arises and um, yeah. Uh, it's nice, and it's good that you got this with this figure, because I would have bought him anyway, uh, even though I said I wouldn't, I would have bought him anyway, because I do need him for stop motions, and it's a nice figure, but the lightning does make it a little bit nicer, um, especially when you're buying a high class action figure, you do want a, a really good one, <laughs> um, but what I do think that you, um, that, uh, you could totally use this for. What you totally could use this for is as a um Oh god I forgot what it was. Um If I remember I'll I'll say it. Um I'm trying to think. It was something from Transformers maybe. Um Oh Shazam! You could use this for Shazam. I was thinking of that. You could have it like be like or like tint it yellow or something and have it be like and then put your Shazam figure like in his pose and you could have him be like the adult version of Shazam and then be like Shazam and then he'll be the kid version I think that would be cool anyway articulation so he has a rotation at the uh, the shoulder he has a bit of a butterfly a bend goes far out that far as a rotation has a hinge there and double joints there. Uh, ball joint down there. That one's more limited than this one. This one is nice and does have a toe articulation. Um, has two ab crunches. Has a ball joint at the lower part of the neck and the upper part of the neck. And if you count this as articulation, there you go. So you can get very expressive looks with him. And especially his like warrior-ness makes this my Thor. That I'm going to use for my displays and my shelves. So yeah. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. 
It's a little bit shorter than I usually like it, but I do want to say this is a fantastic figure. If you do want to pick him up, you could add him to your Christmas list or even pick him up if you don't want to celebrate Christmas, if you want to protest Christmas. Ah! But, yeah, I like Christmas. It's fun, and I get to be with family and my dog. And I give my dog presents, and he doesn't care about them until, like, a day after, and then he destroys them. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Ronimus2099, and I will see you in the next video tomorrow, maybe, because I'm very busy again. Anyway, see ya.